Now then, welcome back to Material Energy Cubed. Well, I'm here. And without the long intro, you know, the uh, Jam Packed Launcher, Feed the Beast, Third Party Mod Pack winner 2014, without all that, I thought we'd just get cracking on today. Because I've got a fair bit that I want to get done. A fair bit that I want to get sorted. I want to get quests completed today. I, I've been looking at this um, well, this side quest here. I've been looking at my side quests here. This Oceans of Water quest, taking forever. But it's worth a load of bullion to me. Which means that I can complete so many more quests with that. Right? So we're going to get this sorted. Uh, also, Sawdust 35. I might actually have enough of that now. Uh, I've been pumping all the wood through here. There we go, Sawdust. Uh, why isn't that going out? Is this full? Oh yeah, it's full. Okay, so let's get all of that out. I think I may have enough now. Uh, sawdust. Compressed sawdust. That's what we got. Recipe. Like that. There we go. Okay, so there's another 27. That's 50, and I think that's the quest. Isn't it? That's the quest. Manual submit. Claim reward. Oh, yes. Okay. So now, throw all that back in there, and we can turn this off. Take that out of there. We don't need any more. Thank you. We're good. We're good. We're good. Let's take all this out and throw it all in here. Okay, so that's that one quest done. Uh, another quest that I was working on, we'll open all these reward bags in a bit. Let's get rid of that and that and that. Uh, another thing I was working on was getting the slag. The slag. And I've got 15 rich slag already. Uh, I can't remember how many I need. And that's another one. And I was trying to figure out how to get the other slag. Uh, in here, putting the deep iron ore in there got me the slag that I needed, the rich slag. But I do need a way to make normal slag. So, we've got to work on that as well. I've got a little idea for that. This was the harder one. But because it uses the pyrothium dust, it gets rich slag a lot more. So we switch that to output out again. Um, I may as well put all that in there and let that just process. We'll have that. Actually, did I do deep iron ore in my victory monument already? Let's have a looky. Uh, it's going to be in precious? Nope. In nether. Deep iron, deep iron. No, it's not going to be in nether. So, fantasy. Deep iron ore block. There we go, we need that. So we may as well make that up now. There we go. Clear that out. And uh, where's my chest? Oh, I left my chest downstairs. Hang on, hang on, hang on. We're going to do something around here, maybe. Yeah, I've got this to show you as well. But I want to just get this, pick it up. Because I know I'm going to forget it if I don't do it right now. Give it here. Thank you. Let's take that with us upstairs. I'm going to sort out this water quest and also the uh, cobblestone quest. That's the second one that I want to sort out today. Oh, it's got my fancy chest plate in there. That's cool. Right, so we got something for the victory monument at least. Hopefully we'll have a bit more before the end of the day. Right, slag. Get back to the slags. Uh, that slag. Manual detect. Got that. Okay. And then this stuff, cinnabar is pretty good for making more rich slag in the future, which is okay. But it also unlocks this, whatever this quest is over here. So we'll uh, we'll be getting onto that as well soon. So throw that away. Let's have a look in the victory bags quickly. Uh, secondary metals. Nice. Okay. Uh, yeah. Twice? Why, thank you so much. Got all that lot twice. All right, awesome. Secondary, uh, secondary metals. I haven't seen that one. Let's go and quickly check that then. Uh, I'm going the wrong way, obviously, but I'm just going to dump that in there. I haven't been doing the webs because I'm up to quests that require uh, bullions right now, and I didn't really fancy messing about with bullions. So this is a 16 by 16, yep. Yeah. Uh, switch it on. Give it a blast. And turn it back off again. Secondary metals. Uh, we've got a few cool bits in here, I suppose. Uh, yeah. And a bit of copper. Okay. There might be something hidden in there. 
Uh, I'll check it later and see if there's anything worth reporting back for. Uh, but that might just be one of those little little quests. Uh, little things going in there. Let's put that in. Manganese ore, that could be useful later as well. Right, so what we want to do is we want to work on transfer nodes. Uh, and I want to work on transfer nodes. I have currently two transfer nodes. Okay. And to make the transfer node... Uh, we want liquid ones to get the water done quicker. Uh, we need a transfer node to make liquid transfer nodes. So let's make a couple of those. Now we got the redstone, so we'll take all that redstone that we had from the hell. There's quite a few blocks of redstone there. I'm not going to need that many. Just a stack will probably do me. And I've got a chisel kicking around somewhere. Yeah, there we go. Get my chisel. Chisel that back into normal redstone. And that'll give us what I need for this quest here. Uh, another thing I found out. Uh, I've only got one poly tool left. Out of three. I think on death I may have lost a couple. Uh, during dying. I kept going back in with swords and stuff. But yeah. Upon dying. Uh, so let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Now. To make it very fast and efficient. I think I'm going to be going with, um, I don't really know, loads and loads and loads. Oh, come on. Uh, have I got some transfer pipes in here? Yeah, that's where I've kept them all. There we go. Let's put those in there. Okay, so, um, <clears throat> transfer nodes. I reckon if we do nine... Nine. Yeah, nine will be a good place to start. Clear that out. Right. We want to do the liquid one. So, uh, let's see if we're missing anything. No. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, okay, that's cool. So, we've got all nine of those. Can need buckets and water. Uh, we've got two buckets of water already. And I suppose I should use some cobblestone. But I did pick up a load of glass. So all of this glass here that i got no reason not to use for anything. I may as well use for this particular project. And I also need a QDS system to put it in. So there we go. There's one. So that'll be one, two, three, four around that one. Uh, one, two, three, four, and I didn't really need a ninth, but there we go. So I need a second QDS delivery system. So let's check that out. Should be easy. And I get the book back. Yes, I do. Thank you. Um, maybe I'll put a QDS system on each of them and make a really big one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do that. We do that. So I'm going to go... And have to do this all through to get nine and get nine independent delivery systems all with an infinite water source just delivering and this shouldn't require any power or anything so it should just work really quickly for me uh, i was thinking of design and how to do it i'll put the lights on hang on we'll make it daytime i was thinking about how to do it and i was thinking that I could just lay it out. Just literally lay it out on the floor. Go all the way down here. Um, let's do it over here. I completely removed this building, by the way. Just in case you were wondering where it's gone. I just completely removed it. Uh, and my encasing of the building is starting to work out right. I want to figure out where I want it, though. What level I want it on and things like that. I could probably do with moving it somewhere. But for now, I guess it's just a temporary structure just to get the uh, get the job done, as it were. So I'm just going to... Um, <laughs> let's do it like this. Let's do it like this. That'll do. Yeah, that'll do. And how many have we got? Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we'll turn it around like this. 
Now, <clears throat> water sources, infinite water sources, they do require me to start off with a block to put these transfer nodes onto. So I'm going to do this. Um, it may be better to separate them. I'm looking at it now thinking it may be better to separate them because they're going to be searching for inventories. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to break them down so there's a gap between each. And I'm going to do a similar setup on this side as well. Uh, yeah, but let's just get the first section going quickly so we've got the, the principle is sorted out. So we're just going to have infinite water sources. Actually, I should have done that there. Then I can do infinite water source this way. That's it. Okay, so that's all infinite. And then this side, do the same. Make this all infinite. And then when I break the glass out from in between here... Oh, great. It's okay, it's, I can punch this to death. Uh, well, this will make all of the sources in between infinite as well. So... They're infinite pools, yeah? They're infinite pools. And uh, we can just take from those all day, a day. Okay. And what was the colour I was using? This light blue? This blue stained, wasn't it? So let's make another set over here. And I might make another five again, just because I'm like that. And we did this one, didn't we? Down the middle. There we go, just use them up and put some of these on again. Alright, then we're going to put the QDS delivery systems on the top of, like a this. Bop, bop, okay. Now this should already be filler water, yep it is, good good. And I want to put some speed upgrades in as well to try and get them all on maximum speed. I want to uh, select task, pop, it's already selected the same task, so I should be able to just go along the same route, and just pop them all, there we go, so now these should be, well these should be moving water into this, and the QDS for this should be going up fairly rapidly, yep, so let's pop this on as well. I'm hoping this is all going to work nicely. Uh, let's take this out. It should, in theory. We're going to need to some speed upgrades and stuff as well. And also then, I want to do a quick cobble gen. There we go. Uh, yeah, I'll just leave that one on for now. Okay. So, how fast is this building up now? Pretty fast. Pretty rapid. You should probably get some more upgrades quickly though. And also get some more transfer nodes sorted out so that we can do cobblestone really fast into the AE system. Now that shouldn't be such a big deal. Let's just make another one. Let's do uh, upgrades. Uh, speed upgrades. Speed upgrades. There we go. Cost us four redstone blocks a time and some gold. Well, we've got infinite gold at the minute and we've got um, loads of blocks of redstone at the minute. So let's get, uh, well, that's four uh, missing nuggets. Okay. Let's get load of nuggets. Should be okay for gold, I think. Should be okay. I hope so, anyway. Uh, yep. Four. We've got nine all together, so let's do eight in each. Hopefully that's not overkill. Oh, I need some more redstone. Uh, let's take another load. Gotta love this, that you're finding all this redstone in this map. I'm going back into hell, don't you worry. I have not yet finished hell. Obviously there are, uh, well... Not obviously, but there are two more wool in there, apparently. And I've got to go back in there and finish them off, haven't I? So I've got to go and find the other wool fairly soon. That's the thing that I want to do. But I just want to get these on the way, because these are like the big quests. And I don't want to be sort of like 
stuck with them on the last day. Like, everything else is completed and these quests are holding me up. I want to get these quests done and out of the way before then. So, just give them all speed upgrades and hopefully these few speed upgrades and a bit of more time should give them a lot more speed going in there. Yeah, that's that's loads more. That's much rapider, rapido than it was before, which is good. Now, the next one we've got to sort out is the compressed cobblestone compression. This octopulate compressed cobblestone thing. Wow. That is a ridiculous, redonkulous, ridiculous thing to go through. And uh, I need to make quite a few blocks of it. So I was thinking about it, and I was thinking uh, how to make cobblestone as fast as possible. We get um, lava and water together. So let's have a look, see if I got any buckets of lava. That's ethanol. Let's get a few buckets of lava and a bucket of water, and see about doing some form of rapid. Rapid, rapid cobblestone gen. So, uh, not cobblestone gen. As you can see, I've got quadruplet, and I've got it all set up here, but I need 43,000. For, is that 43 million? 43 million. Yes, 46,721. That's a shed ton of cobblestone just to craft one octuplet. One, and I need to find that one. That's a lot of cobble. So we're going to need some more of these transfer nodes. So we're going to get a couple more of these. Let's do this recipe. Put those on again. Now let's go one, two, uh, three, uh, four. We're going to make four of these. All going into the AE system. So we're going to need an interface for it to go into. Um... Yeah, I, I have got another thing as well that I could use, but I'm using that somewhere else. And I was just thinking, do I want this or do I want that? Or do I? And I definitely, yeah, I'm going to have one of these, okay? And I'm going to go and get myself some more of this water, get a couple more buckets of water over here. All right, and pop, pop. There we go. And we're going to set this up down here, just out the way. All righty then. So let's put this... Uh, Let's put it underneath the pink generation. Uh, this is shift clicking, sneak right clicking a paintbrush with pink on it onto uh, what is stone bricks. So it's doing stone bricks, painting it pink, and then dis disapplicating it, moving it around, getting rid of it. Now, it sometimes runs perfectly, whereas the stone brick goes out and the paintbrush paints it before the transition plane up there can break it but at the minute since I've logged out and logged back in again that has stopped functioning so yeah I don't understand I'm just gonna leave it for now mess with it some more and carry on figuring it out uh, right we're gonna go uh, what do we got four yeah we need four here then so I am going to pop a little bit of something something on these. Let's take that off. Let's pop this here. Okay. And here. And we'll probably need one there as well. Okay. So, lava. We're going to have a lava there between those two. We're going to have a lava there between those two. That should be enough, really. Yeah, that should be enough. And then we're going to put these on top of there. And this one on top of there. And I didn't need as many lava buckets as I thought I would. But I could possibly do the same setup again because it's going to cost me a lot in it. Uh, I'm going to need a little infinite source of water. So let us just do this. Uh, yeah, this will do. That's close enough. I did mean to do it a different way, but that'll do. Let's put that there, and then I've got an infinite source to put one there. Uh, one there. And uh, one there. So we've got four inputs. 
and they should all be getting water and lava, water, lava, water, lava, water, lava. Yeah, let's try it. Ah, oh, I did it too soon, didn't it? Okay. Um, let's put some cobblestone then, then, shall we? Then I don't need to break it, do I? Let's uh, cobble. Uh, cobble, cobble, cobble. There we go. Right. Let's put a cobblestone there. Break this. So it's a good job I did have that extra lava after all. And up. Oh, and break that. Put another piece of cobble there. So take that out first. Put that in there. Put that in there. Okay. Put that back. Now that should start. Yeah. Started making cobble. That's good. Okay. That's what we wanted to see. And this. Let's get rid of this lot. Break the glass. Alrighty. Okay, so this one as well, we want to put the lava back there. And we should see all of these kicking into gear. Yeah. 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 Okay. And then we want to pipe it all into an interface. Uh, the interface can just then get hooked up to the rest of the system. Let's put the interface as close as possible to those two I guess that'll be good and then bring this over like this so it only has one inventory to search for those outside ones may be a bit slower I could probably do with putting the interface one there and one there actually let's see interface uh, let's just craft me another interface please I'll take two but I only actually need one please say you've got all the materials you need you have not got all the materials you need. Dang it. Well, I'm coming upstairs anyway. Uh, yeah, so I'll transfer those around, I guess. Yeah, that's probably a better idea. Let's take these back down. Uh, yeah, lava. Just burn it all up while I don't I? Yeah, great. Awesome. Uh, let's take that. Got all that lava in my face. That's good. Don't mind. And put that over the lava. That actually makes more sense having it over the lava as well, doesn't it? Because now that can just do all that shit. Right. So this can then link up to... Uh, we've got to link it to this section over here, really. So let's bring it down from here. Uh, yep. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, come on. Don't make me jump in lava. Alright, thank you. And down. Derpin that up now. Right, you down here. And we can bring you straight down this way. And bring you across. So all of this cobble will now go into the AE system. There we go. And we can break all of this down. I don't know where I got all these pipes from in the first place anyway. But they can all get broken down. Did I get my interface yet? No. Nope. Okay, let's go and see what we're missing. We also need... Uh, well, we don't actually need any more transfer nodes. We need some more speed upgrades. But that's just more speed upgrades to do more things. Let's have a look. Uh, what we were stuck on crafting-wise. It's making that, that's why. Okay, now it's missing flux dust. Okay. Flux dust. Fluix dust. There we go. Didn't I have a load of that already? That stuff there. Oh, I know. It has to process this as it goes. Okay. So now it's doing the next things. Yeah. Now it's just crafting these stone bricks for me. Uh, interface. There we go. Now it's got the interface. All right. So we've got the interface, and I can make the speed upgrades. So I can now get a ton of cobble into the system fairly rapidly, which is excellent. And we just need to hook that onto there. And that gives us four cobble generators basically kicking out. And we've got nine water generators kicking out. So while I'm busy, busy, busy doing other quests and things, uh, these quests here can be doing some cool stuff. This octopulate cobble, I can get that going. The 
Genetics, that's working at the minute as well. The side quest, let's have a look see how much water we've got already. Oh man, already getting over to the next digit, which is very, very good. That's a lot faster, a hell of a lot faster anyway. That's very good, I like that. Uh, what do we got here? Deep iron ore block. Should that be all we place in the monument today? Uh, let's have a look, victory monument wise. What else could we possibly get? Precious metals, electrum, zinc, platinum. Platinum I'm not doing, zinc I don't think I can do. Let's have a look at the nether metals, shadow iron, enola shite, dorite, no, oh, I'm going back, wrong way. Fantasy metals, fantasy metals, rubicorium, rubicor, I know I've got some of that in there. I fashioned a load of that earlier. Let's have a look. It's right down at the bottom of the list, I think. If I put it by item ID, we're right down here for these ingots. And yeah, infusion coralium. I can do that as well today. And do we have those? Nah. Infusion coralium. Well, I'll have a look to see what else we can get for the next episode. Uh, but we've got that infusion coralium block. So that gives us two awesome blocks for the victory monument today. And we are working on some other stuff. I mean, I can stick myself an, a drum. A few drums is another thing that we've got to work out. Stick myself an oil drum somewhere close by to get the uh, various metals that we need. Uh, shadow iron, deep iron it was. Deep iron, there we go. And infusion coralium. In column. Is that on the next row up? Is it somewhere around here? Black steel, silver, hadrath, infusicolium. There we go. Awesome. So we're starting on our second row of metal blocks, which is pretty good. Pretty good indeed. Uh, we've not got many walls left. We've got uh, a load of liquids to collect, but it's only like water and milk and seed oil, which we're already getting anyway. Energized glowstone should be no problem. Liquid XP, yeah, maybe. Ethanol, lava should be no problem. Destabilized redstone, no problem. So there's a few of those that may be problematic. There's a butterfly. I'm going to catch you sometime, boy. I'm going to catch you. Right, well, thank you very much for watching another episode of Material Energy Cube. This one was another little prep up, ready for more adventure. I just want to make sure that things like those really long-winded quests are taken care of as early as possible. Uh, I've had lots of good comments, thank you all very much. And all of them have pointed me to the point, to the fact that I need to start on these. That butterfly. I need to start on these seriously long-winded quests as early as possible while I'm doing other things. So, thank you very much for watching. I will see you next episode. I'm going to go for a bit of a fight. See you later, guys. Thanks.